Oh, with the basketball, she'll fire a 15-footer and rims it out no good. The rebound to Lee inside. She tried to put it on the floor. It was stripped away, and here comes Brooke Moore out of it with the basketball. Moore off to Grant. Layup good. Roberts at the left elbow trying to back in, and Stallings took it away. Steal by Asia off to Layden. Layden coming into the front court with a right-hand dribble. Layden down the middle. She's going to bounce pass inside to Kyle for the layup good. Morrison with it. Off to White. Steal by Asia Stalin. She steps in front. She's going to go down the left side. Play it up. Continuing to chip away against that zone, hitting the high post area and the paint. Not staying with it, can't convert. Here's Pulliam. Guess what? She shot that on the other side of the basket that time. And that's what Farquhar's so good at doing, going on the left side and finishing at the rim. Great slasher, you have to give her a step and stay in front of her. Farquhar, an outstanding defender as well. She helps force that turnover and it leads to a transition. Again, the way both teams had been shooting coming into this game, we weren't sure just how high scoring of a game it would be, but it's looking like a track meet so far through nearly a quarter and a half. Here's Trailer on the drive for two more. Penn State's SID, a uh, Nittany Lion herself. Uh, she's been great about giving us some of this access that we've been showing you on the broadcast today. So, Chelsea, thank you very much. Brooke Moore had it going in the first half, and you can make that the third quarter as well. And that is case in point Why Dion down low, ready to make it work if she needs to. And what a heads up play here by Trailer. The steal, the finish on the other end. 6 4 using all of that size to get that second chance bucket. And then Trailer with the heads up play anticipates that there might be some contact in their game, not only X's and O's wise, but also from a leadership standpoint. It'll be Trailer who gets subbed out by Moore this time. It's McLaughlin who picks up the steal and will take it all the way. Welcome back to Mackey Arena. How about a steal? Finish it on the other end. Getting it done in all phases. Now back on top, ball tipped and stolen. Osmond with the steal. Osmond coming down on Dumbia, and Dumbia blocked the shot. And then Doombia had the ball tipped out of bounds. It'll be Purdue basketball. That is a great play. A steal and almost a quick score, but Doombia comes down and gets a good block. We'll stay with Maryland again, third time. Keep the eye on Ashley Wusu on the inbound. All the way up top, and it's stolen here. So not the same result, but Purdue looking to get off to a good start. Grace Berger with the last bucket for Indiana. Here's Mackenzie Holmes, blocked by Rashea Kyle, who has really shown some spurts and some glimpses in this game here and kyle was lucky uh when holmes gets you pin that low she just had that two consecutive losses at carver hawkeye something almost unthinkable caitlin clark turns it over on the cut tamara farquhar well we saw smith start over hubbard's day but when baravich has been on the floor it looks like she's been point guard block there by kyle and baravich but it'll go out of bounds and it'll remain Minnesota ball. Scalia, Smith, and Barovich, even though two of them are those freshmen, so this is their first year, they're not fearing anything. And they're missing their senior in Hubbard, so nice steal there by Layden. She'll bring it up the court. Scalia stops her. And a nice uh, Barovich here. She'll pass to Powell. Gives it back to Barovich. All the way across. Bad pass, Dumbia all by herself. Powell trying to get back, but Dumbia will take the nice easy layup. Right, and part of that Big Ten freshman came after she dropped six threes against Iowa. Bad pass there, Layden will actually get the steal. She carries it up, she's gonna pass to Moore, and Moore's gonna put it up and in for the layup there. She certainly has Layden here scoring in the double digits already in this half, getting her total to 15. 
loose ball there. And Farquhar will come up with it. She'll pass out to Trailer. Trailer driving, Powell guarding. Trailer easy layup there as Powell lost her. She's down by seven, less than a minute to play. Well, Trailer here, she's going to get a nice re rebound there. Quick play, four seconds, two points. Oh, welcome back to the barn. We've got a good one, 33 seconds left, four-point game. And that was help from two. No good from Aaliyah McQueen, a freshman from Flint, Michigan. Second chance. Pass intended for her, got knocked away. Pull up by Trailer is good. Peebles. And her pass out to Terry is knocked away, stolen by Trailer. Takes it to the cup on her own. Barely any fouls in this one so far. Peebles from the logo. Offensive rebound, Porter had it blocked. Right in the face, blocked by Fatu Dion. Nice move by Madison Layden, but too strong on the shot, and yet she makes up for it right away with the steal. Yeah, Madison Layden has had a steal in every game of her young career as a freshman, and they're taking it coast to coast and finishing. And there they've got the big guards and Dilk who can rebound. Nice steal there from Kiana Trailer in transition. It's Madison Layden hitting the three shot. Yeah, now we've got in the post, a nice hand there by Nyawa Goni. Out to Trailer. First time they've gotten that throw ahead in transition. About if they've got it in transition. Nice job by Goni off the bench. Trailer getting a little head of steam. Gets the advantage. Turnover. That makes it 16 Michigan turnovers. 14.6 boards, four assists for the Scarlet Knight point guard. That one thrown away. Brooke Moore the other way with the lay in. Miller at the right point. Top of the key, Mikolashikova hands to Miller. Jump pass for a streaking patty. Down the left lane line. Blocked by Dumbia. Out of bounds. The music playing there was rejection. Spark off the bench, whether it's rebounding, defensive possessions. Miller Buckeyes, four court right to UI, drives the right baseline, bounce pass, not there for Beecham. Turnover on the Dorka pass, stolen by Layden Purdue. Up the left wing, it'll come for Trailer. Drives down the lane and lays it in, left of the rim. Five more seconds left in the game. Poole has it out front, works off to the right, drops it off for Jones. She'll slide down the right lane line, have her pocket picked. Stolen away by Kyle. She'll come in from the left. Kyle will put it up and in with seven seconds left. <laughs> They led by 11 at the end of the first quarter. It's been back and forth ever since. Here's Trailer going to work on Joyner and a three-point play opportunity coming. Where she needed to in order to get that call for her to have that place in line, establish the real estate. Trailer on the run out. Tries to save it into the hands of Dion. And now more. Trailer drives as it's stripped away. Turnover number 10 for Purdue. Awusu coming down two on one. Dishes it inside to Reese. He's tripped up going to the basket. Lost the ball and now here comes Purdue the other way. Trailer on the open court against Benson. Takes it up, scores and draws the foul. Mm -hmm. KT has eight coming off a 31 point performance against Michigan State on Sunday. And Purdue pulls within 25 at the other end. Madison Layden gets another steal. Layden stepped in front of a pass from Styles. Gets it to Trailer. Trailer again goes all the way through mm -hmm. and scores. Miller. At the top of the three-point line, throws off to Ashley Owusu. Owusu at the free-throw line to Styles with eight to shoot. That is the first time we've talked about the shot clock for Maryland. Illinois had trouble covering all three of those people. Great third, job. Third triple of the game for Purdue. They're back within two at 22 to 20. Here's McQueen the other way for Illinois. Stolen away by Layton, who's had at least one steal in every game. Layton trying to go all the way coast to coast, lays it in. Well, here's Ruben off to Terry. Terry working against Fatou Dion has it stripped and stolen. Here's Trailer coming one on one against Nye. Nye lets her go and Trailer lays it in. And Janae Terry out on the left side. This is McQueen. McQueen had it tipped away by Kyle, stolen by Harden, and then Harden with a long pass up to Rashea, who catches, lays it up, and draws the foul. The fact that your 6 5 post player can pop out and 
do a, a hard hedge and tip the ball away to get the, the, the beginning of the steal. Double throws back to Miles, who brings it to the top of the circle. Miles back to Nye with 12 to shoot. She fires a shot that's blocked. Tam Farquhar with the block, Fatudian with the rebound, and here comes Trailer in the front court. Trailer, hesitation dribble, goes through a couple of players and lays it in. Nye picks up the dribble, throws it to Robbins, who tipped it, got it back. Now she's got the ball back off and intercepted. Intercepted by Moore, coming down one-on-one -on -one against Miles. Moore lays it in. Ford has them with three, but either way, they've got fouls to give here in this quarter. And the possession arrow again favors Purdue. You mentioned Kiana earlier. She is the defensive stopper on this team, and Terry Morin credits them as the defensive-minded team. So here we go, a look, and Purdue takes it away. Purdue has come to play this afternoon. Tri Pepper trying to make the most of her senior day. Cardano Hillary, do you get more wide open? She can't get it to go, though. Left it short, offensive board again from Indiana, and they get it stripped away. Indiana turnover, here comes Moore, quick in transition, and she'll fire the three and convert. Thought about a three. Maybe she's going to roll around and dish it inside to her fellow senior, Warthen, but Warthen can't get it to go. Good defense there by Purdue. And Indiana can hold for the last shot. Clock winding down. Three seconds to go. Indiana tries to put it up. Berger's got to put something up fast. Can't get it to go at the buzzer.